So ended the story of the Lone Wanderer. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close. Fallout 3, very hard difficulty guide for who dares wins. Um, now, I don't have high enough science in order to hack these things, so I do it the fun way and smash them open, which causes you, when you walk through them, to take damage. Um, if you have 80 science or above, or 50 explosives or above, you can detonate them or hack them, but I don't have either, so. Yeah, that sucks. I don't know why I saved there. Oh yeah, in case you, like, miss weapons or something, you can do that. Um, I suggest saving here. Um, there are a few unique weapons you can get on the mobile base platform, and afterwards you can't go and back and get them. One is the slow burn flamer. One is the precision Gatlin laser. Gatling. Um, there's also a composite recon helmet, which it doesn't really focus too oh, well. Man. This guy's Stiggs. He's not worth me uh, letting you guys hear him. It's kind of boring. But uh, the composite recon helmet, it's like a normal recon helmet, I think, but it just has what it gives you plus one perception, well, which it's, I mean, pre-war hats do that, so it doesn't really matter it's nice to, to keep those. Um, so anyway, and I think that's all you can get. Oh yeah, you can get an ex another alien blaster, but um, Fox kind of fucked up my chance of getting it by breaking the panel on both sides. So, fun. So, anyway. If you continue to talk to Stiggs, I just wasn't feeling like it. I mean, he'll he'll go away. Like, he'll run out of the base and whatnot, but I just didn't think it was worth my time. So, right here, I, uh... This is after running through it my first time, because I just realized that I just took way too much time just running through it. I probably took... I looked on my video, and after cutting off everything, I cut off about 15 minutes of just being in this room. I mean, it it's bad. Now, right here is the armory, right there. And, uh, you want to remember where that is, because we have to go back there. Sort of. Sort of, kind of. Um. So, just remember where that is, and, um. You have to kind of go through there and go on this weird path in order to get the slow burn flamer. But, um. Anyway, once you go through here. Now, when you see this Enclave officer, I'm not sure it's male or female, but that person gives you the high clearance card thing, which you will most likely want if you want to, or high clearance key card. And that'll get you into this next room. There's also a terminal. And when you use that, it'll open up that door. Now, right here, if you have 75 um, science, you can hack the terminal, which will allow you to either turn off all the robots, or you can, if you have the computer whiz perk, you can uh, have them turn hostile on the Enclave and friendly to you. Um, which, I don't know what the hell is going on here. I hit him, and it just wasn't damaging him until I threw the third one. And then it hit him, so, I don't know. Weird. And then that one didn't hit. Really fucking weird. And he didn't even see me. But, um... So anyway, I just kind of let Fox deal with that. I have to say that the Precision Gatling Laser is not a bad Gatling Laser. Especially since it's, uh... Its name implies what it does. It has a very low spread for a Gatling Laser. Um, it's not as powerful as the Vengeance unique Gatling Laser, but, um... It, it's still pretty powerful, and... Um, I'd have to compare their stats. So kind of, I just kind of let Fox do his own thing. You know, he can fight if he wants. Yeah, I just said it wasn't worth it. Now, right here is a security terminal, or this is the robot control mainframe. But uh, I didn't have high science, high enough science. So anyway, um, I just tell it to unlock everything. Of course, now, even the panel that Fox destroyed in our battle for the armory. Um, I thought that was an awesome shot. 
but um, Fox destroyed it by either blowing up a turret or something. I don't remember. But uh, that allowed me to not get the second alien, alien blaster, so I was kind of ticked off about that. And um, I forgot to mention this, um, and I'm probably wrong, but I don't think it's possible after downloading Mothership Zeta to get the Alien Blaster early on. It um, The way that Mothership Zeta works, for those who don't know, once you download it, when you go to the Alien Crash site that has the Alien Blaster, before you even get... Uh, you couldn't get close enough to touch it if you wanted to. You'll get beamed up, and there's no way to go back down until you beat it. So I don't think it's possible to get the Alien Blaster until after you've beaten the DLC. Um, I might be totally wrong, um, but I think I am uh, right. I'll have to check on Fallout Wikia, which is uh, a great Fallout source if uh, you haven't already gone to it. Very good. Um, right here is Squad Sigma that you have to kind of get through. And I didn't want to go in there, so. You know doing my own thing so once you come who come through here you want to go to the launch area which I think is yeah yeah you go up the staircase here and um, then right here you go into the launch platform and what I did here is I'm just like oh fuck this I'm not killing all these robots which I didn't want to. I mean, I didn't want to spend like 10 stem packs just to get owned and a few experience. So, right here, just walk past everything. Um, the deal with my character, though, is he has 100 sneak with his Chinese stealth armor on. I have 85 on him. Um, so, that's what I do. but you can go ahead and loot and all that fun stuff but you can just sneak past all these troops because uh, you don't need to fight them unless you want experience which uh, considering uh, I'm not going to be touching this character at all after well I'm not going to be touching him anymore because I beat this already but I wouldn't be touching him anymore afterwards so that's just kind of I didn't I didn't like how I set up this character um, he used up and considering I played him on very hard I just used up so many more stem packs than I normally would on any other character, and I used up some other stuff that I wasn't too proud of, like the alien blaster thing, which I totally think was necessary. So right here we're going into the science satellite tower, and uh, again I'm just going to sneak all the way to the uh, the launch control center, which is where you can fire the payload from and again Fox does a very good job of distracting everything for me but by playing broken steel you'll actually get a ton of flamer fuel if you don't already have a ton And uh, if you didn't hear that, my Mysterious Stranger just came there. Mysterious Stranger is actually a very good perk. Um, especially on the heart, on the higher difficulties, it can really help out. Just because he'll come right when you need him. Sometimes. Otherwise, he'll just come whenever um, you've killed the person and you don't need him. It's right here when you open that door. Um, I think there's actually Mr. Gutsy. Yeah, he was downstairs there. Um, but once you come upstairs here, there will be a computer. Um, which uh, is no. There's a terminal right there that tells how the workers here were like sleeping on the job and stuff. But uh, when you activate it, just choose fire payload, and um, it'll allow you to select two. Okay, now I gotta talk fast. You can either target the Citadel or the Adams Air Force Base. 
Um, the Citadel will cause all Brotherhood to be hostile towards you, but you can get the Callahan's Magnum and some more ammo for the Alien Blaster. Um, blowing up the Adams Air Force Base will give you good karma. So, um, yeah, that's uh, Broken Steel. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed.